Good evening, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Um, good evening, Eastside families, friends, staff, and, and most importantly to our soon-to-be graduates of the class of 2021. Uh, let's hear it for the class of 2021. We're going to be doing that a lot tonight. It is my distinct honor as principal to welcome you to this evening's commencement ceremony, number two. And I would also like to welcome our guests from the Madison Metropolitan School District School Board, Ali Muldrow and Maya Pearson, as well as Chief of Secondary Schools, Mr. Mike Hernandez, you know him. And I'd also like to welcome all of those who may be watching us from the live stream tonight. Um, I want to begin with a land acknowledgement that was written for us by our Native American Student Association. It is with great respect that Madison East High School acknowledges and celebrates the inherent sovereignty of the Ho-Chunk Nation and the 11 indigenous First Nations within what is now referred to as the state of Wisconsin. This is the sacred ancestral land of the Ho-Chunk people. Madison East High School will continue to grow and build upon our partnerships with the Ho-Chunk Nation and all First Nations. Thank you to our students from NASA for your leadership. All right, seniors, it is really good to see you in person. Thank you, Duan. Not on Zoom. I'm not here making a video of my own face to actually see you in person. It, it, it's really special to us, and uh, you're here because you're graduating high school tonight. I am certain that you did not imagine that you'd be graduating from high school here on the field at Bree Stevens, and I'm certain you did not imagine a lot of the things that you've gone through over the past 15 months. Uh, you've had to give up a whole lot. You've had to give up games, performances, dances, award ceremonies, just the opportunity to walk around the halls of East High School with your friends or to finish out the year in your classes. And we all need to thank you for all the things that you have sacrificed over these past 15 months. And seriously, we need to thank you for that. You have done it with grace and resilience and east side toughness, and you have made it here tonight to receive your diplomas, and that is no small thing. So I want to take a moment to recognize our staff as well. They're scattered all over tonight. Um, there's what everyone went through this year, and there's what our staff went through this year, and you have always, always put our students first. They're here tonight because of our staff's efforts uh, can we give it up one time for the East High staff that are here tonight as well, please? Thank you. And I know I speak for our whole staff when I say that none of us would ever want to do this year again, but being live streamed into your homes for school over the past year has given us a unique view into all the things that you have managed to get here tonight. And I'd just like to share a few things that, that we as your staff have found inspiring from the class of 2021 this year. In particular, all of you who've been working long hours all year to support families financially during a difficult time. Those of you who've been taking care of younger siblings who aren't typically at home during the school day. All of you who volunteered to get food or other essentials to people in our community who need it. All of you who've helped your friends and your classmates just figure out how to be a student on a computer through Zoom classes, Google Classroom, Pear Deck, whatever else has been thrown at you. All of you, like those in our United Asian Club, Rasa United, Gender Equity, our Black Student Union, who have continually challenged us to make East the kind of school you think it should be. All of you who've marched and protested and rallied and otherwise worked to disrupt systems of injustice over the past year, both inside and outside of the school. East wouldn't be East if you weren't out there disrupting things. And also, most importantly, all of you who just managed to keep it together and get here tonight, because that is no small thing in itself. And I say this often, but I think that we, uh, we learn as much from you as you do from us. So I want to thank you all for inspiring us and giving us so much to be hopeful for in a year when it was much needed. And on a personal note, uh, there has not been one day, no matter what's been going on, that I have not been grateful to be your principal. 
And uh, I know that the best is yet to come for this class. You're not going to be the ones sitting around talking about how high school were your glory days. And I know you're going to keep looking out for each other, and you're going to keep looking out for the east side, like so many have before you in this school's almost 100-year history. I assure you this class will be a class that is remembered, and this is a night that you will remember. So let's get to it. We are going to start this evening with one of our graduates performing the national anthem, senior choir member Amanda Velasquez. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam? Whose brush stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Juramento a la bandera. Juro fidelidad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Good evening, class of 2021. I would like to start by having everyone take a moment to reflect. Let us reflect on the last year of chaos as well as the past four years of even more chaos. Let's just say it's been a doozy. But we have finally made it to graduation. My name is Marin Cohen, and this is Destiny Musino Meza. Like many of you, our friendship began freshman year. First period, Pathways Honors US History at 8.13 in the morning. I was just a short, curly-haired girl, clueless of the slightly emo Latina girl sitting across from me. I remember introducing myself, saying that I went to O'Keefe, and some random factoid about me. It was met with a good old awkward silence. Who would have known that four years later, I would be up here speaking with one of my best friends? We would like to thank all of our educational leaders. 
These are the people who helped guide us through the time in the safest way possible. They supported us through some very difficult periods and celebra celebrated with us like family. In an effort to keep us safe and get us back together, they had to make some and enforce rules that would counter the culture at East High School. We were told to keep our masks up. Masks have been an essential part of safety in the past year. Unlike other schools and places, East has never been a place where masking is normal. East provides a safe place, space for self-expression where students and teachers alike are free to be themselves. East is a place where you don't have to look or act a certain way to fit in. Our differences create stronger relationships that grow into a beautiful community of educated, passionate learners who understand, appreciate, and celebrate diversity. The encouragement to be true to yourself and have pride in your own skin is exemplified in each and every student. Today we celebrate those who ripped off their masks and accomplished amazing things, unafraid of the judgment from their peers or society. Today we celebrate transgendered students who belt out notes on stage and students who never shied away from being the only black or brown student in an honors or AP class. We celebrate those who did not let the fact that English is not their first language prevent them from starting college early in a STEM program nonetheless. And those whose lives were forever altered by COVID-19, losing a family member or a dear friend and are still walking across the stage today. Beyond this stage, you enter a world that might you might expect wants you to be or act a certain way, whether it's at a higher job or higher education. I implore you to remember how you lived at East, mask free, because you and the experience you hold make places better. Please remember to socially distance. For the last year, we have been advised to stay six feet apart from each other in stores, at school, and even outdoors. Keeping that physical distance was tough because the East community is so tight-knit. Although we kept our space this year, we were still supporting each other the entire time. We supported our family members as they worked from home, taking care of our younger siblings, and some of us became wage earners working multiple jobs. Everyone was dealing with the pandemic differently, and we all had very different stories and situations. But the one thing we had in common was East and our East Side community. Throughout it all, we all leaned in and had each other's back. We organized food drives and prepared grocery deliveries to those in need. We continuously checked in with individuals who were struggling to adjust to this new life of isolation. We connected and shared information to keep us safe and eventually how and when to get vaccinated. We kept our clubs alive, whether it be BSU, Raza United, or United Asians Club. We came together as groups to support our communities, our affinity groups, and our friends. We thank you for being the leaders in our community and for being kind enough to continuously use your energy and generosity to take care of us. As we move forward, we must continue to support each other and our community. We all know you possess the qualities to lead your new communities, but when you need the support, you have us to lean back on. Wash your hands. It is such a simple idea, but so many purposes. You should always wash your hands to prevent the spread of disease, keep them clean, and get the dirt off. And we all know East can be pretty dirty. Yes, because it is an old building with lots of dust, but also because the students here are not afraid to roll up their sleeves and get to work. Our class will always be the first to stand up against injustice. We will speak for those who are silenced and demand change in the pursuits for equity. Throughout the past four years, East students have leveraged their power as youth activists by organizing protests, marches, and walkouts. The immense leadership qualities that each student standing before us holds made this possible. There is a Hebrew phase called Dainu, which means it would have been enough. This class has given this phrase a new meaning. We had our first high school walkout and protest to end gun violence in March 2018. Many would have thought this activism would have been enough, but our class said no, this is not enough. We can't stop when kids were in cages and our schools were being raided. We said it is not enough when our world is warming up with no action being taken. Our class continued to get their hands dirty. It would have been enough for us to stop when the global pandemic hit, but we knew it wasn't enough when our classmates' lives are at risk. 
Last year, despite being separated, we came together during the Black Lives Matter protest. Our East students were the most vocal. I remember watching the news and seeing my peers on TV screaming their hearts out into the microphones. We appreciate your fearless leadership and dedication to make our community a better place. And I can't wait to see what injustices you'll tackle next. Now that our time together is coming to an end, we hold these qualities close to us. Although we might not be physically together, our experiences will inspire the future. I can't think of a better group of students to lead the next generation of unique, passionate, powerful individuals. Because the best leaders are those who lead by example. In the words of Ricky Bobby, <clears throat> this class is the best there is, plain and simple. They wake up in the morning and they piss excellence. And with that, we say good night and congratulations. <laughs> Hello, my name is Desiree and I'll be singing Rise Up. When you're down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round and you can't find the fighter, but I see it in you so we'll walk it out. And move mountains, we gon' walk it out. And move mountains, and I'll rise up, highlight the day. I'll rise up, in spite of the age. I'll rise a thousand times again for you, for you, for you, for you. Oh, we need, oh, we need it. Oh, Ever that we have each other, even though we have each other, yeah. We will rise, we will rise, we will rise. Oh, we will rise. And I'll rise up, highlight the day, I'll rise up. In spite of the age, I'll rise a thousand times Good evening, my name is Nona Herr. I'm a part of AVID and Pathways, and I also serve as the co-chair of the United Asian Club, class representative of Student Congress, and I'm part of the girls' varsity soccer team. It is my great pleasure to introduce this year's keynote speaker, Mrs. Alyssa Pelochi, who is a role model to all. As our AP Psychology teacher and Student Congress advisor, Mrs. Pelochi is truly one of the most beloved teachers at East. Since she started teaching at East in 2015, Mrs. Pelochi has found her own unique way of creating strong bonds in, with students and staff. Whether it's relating to her students through TikTok and memes, or sharing adorable pictures of her dog, Winifred, Mrs. Pelochi never fails to make class exciting. Even when she's busy studying and taking her own online classes to earn her graduate degree, she's never too busy for her students. Being a supportive and engaging psychology teacher might be enough for some people, but for Mrs. Pelosi, she it's not enough. <laughs> She's also continued to be an actor, an active member of the East community. As our student Congress advisor, Mrs. Pelosi's passion for supporting others and improving East truly shines. 
With her wit and optimism, Mrs. Pelosi serves as an influential leader and role model. While well, most of the time, she can keep up with our pop culture references and slang. A day doesn't go by in class where Mrs. Pelosi mentions how old she feels compared to us, her students. However, this reminds us that we are still incredibly young and impressionable, and that we still have a lot to learn from inspirational people such as Mrs. Pelosi. This is something very important to remember as we, the class of 2021, graduate and move on to greater things. Without further, further ado, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Pelosi as the keynote speaker for the class of 2021. Thank you, Nona, and thank you to the staff, families, and community members who helped to make this day extra special. It's an honor today to speak to all of you during this moment. Graduation is here. Seniors, you did it. Take a moment, look around, be proud. I and the rest of your East High School family are so very proud of each and every one of you. My hope is that this is not just a day that you remember. I want this day to be a memory and also a feeling that you hold on to. This right here, you sitting in front of me, is a sign that you can do anything you set your minds to. You're brave and powerful young people. As I look out on this crowd, I cannot help but smile. All the perfect feelings of joy for you and hopes that this is not a goodbye, but a see you later. You all make me a better version of myself. It's a privilege to share space with you. Some of you may remember me from the first time we crossed paths at Sherman Middle School. Others of you met me in psychology class and others of you just passed me in the hallway. Whether it was then or now, I want to let you know just how lucky and truly written in the stars our meeting has been. Over the last few weeks of your high school career, I tried to find what moments were going to be the most salient and memorable. Some of you remembered the small stuff, like making breakfast with your classmates, playing soccer at Demetral, or the way East High School can go from blazing hot to freezing cold within a hallway. Others of you thought deeply about what you'd remember regarding the last four years. So many times I know that each and every one of you has taken a moment to fight for the rights of your peers. You fought for equity and you stood together. Whether it was Me Too, Time's Up, Black Lives Matter, Trans Lives Matter, fighting for the mitigation of climate change or masking up, you all made a difference. Each one of you took cues from your peers as you learned what next big step you were going to take for social change. This is and will always continue to be why I love being a Pergolder, because you all make me a better version of myself. You consistently remind everyone, especially us adults, to listen and learn. You hold us accountable. You chose the phrase, we're still standing. And it comes as no surprise to me that you would choose a phrase so inclusive. Today, I want to share a concept with all of you. Consider it one last lesson, and I promise there's no homework this time around. The concept is a phrase that I first learned when I was becoming a teacher. As fate would have it, it was right when I was meeting some of you for the very first time. I was learning about Desmond Tutu and a phrase that he turned to many years over his life. The phrase is Ubuntu. The idea loosely translates to being human only through our relationships. The phrase considers that we cannot be human on our own. I would not be the same me without meeting you. When you're constantly working towards and striving for something bigger than yourself, you have Ubuntu. The fact is that I need you to be the best version of yourself in order for me to be the best version of myself. Every day, I saw you come to school and show up in so many different ways for your community, your world, and yourselves. I know and hope that you will always keep that close and harness it as you take the next step 
in your lives. My wish for all of you is that you go on and continue to write beautiful life stories. I wish that you would know and remember that you are the only person that gets to write your story. I want you to dream the biggest dreams imaginable, and I want you to constantly commit to feeling joy. I hope you continue to be the best you, that you look around and help others along the way, that you take risks and make mistakes, and when challenges inevitably come, that you lean on each other. Allow yourself to be amazed by the big things and the little things. Remember, you aren't here to find yourself, but to make yourself. Hold all of these things close, but remember, once you're a Pergolder, you'll always be a Pergolder. All right, it is that time. Along with Superintendent Dr. Carlton Jenkins and Chiefs of Secondary Schools, Mr. Mike Hernandez and Dr. Marvin Pryor, I hereby certify that the students before you, the Madison East Class of 2021, have met all the requirements for graduation as set forth in board policy and are ready to receive their diplomas from the Madison Metropolitan School District. It is with great pride that I present to you the Madison East High School Class of 2021. Marin Superstar Cohen. <laughs> Cateline Gonzalez de Vicente. Nona Hall. Farron Lockridge. Destiny Musino Mesa. Amanda Velasquez. Chamang Ya. Rakaya Abdullah. Sophia Marie Abejero. Manny Abraham Rojas. Alyssa Acker. Jose Luis Awalt Ramirez. Tamba Amara. Murtasa Amin. Carter Anderson. Hannah Anderson. Sage Anderson. Dijon Angelo. Cassidy Amonstall. Madison Amonstall. Ruben Avila Rodriguez. Stephanie Ayala. Mary Baggett. Vanessa Baena Hernandez. Piper Bandera. Kevin Andres Bardales Viatoro. Maya Barut. Piper Burge. Bemnet Burhanu. Tobias Besmer. Aminata Biliti. Brett Blair. David Blair. 
Georgia Blake. Dylan Blake Horst. Zachary Brayman. Kimberly Brown. Patrice Brown. Brian Bookert. <laughs> Jayla Buford. Mara Birch. Clintavian Bercy. Lee Andro Bird. Julian Caldwell Coyle. Chloe Sarasani. Dani Chavarria. Asenet Claudio de los Santos. Mimi Coates. A.B. Eduardo Cobos Ocon. Samuel Coleman. Ashley Corona. Marco Cox. Isaiah Adrian Crab. Sean Cunningham. Courtney Dalby. Giovanni Daniel Cruz. Isa Dedrich. Areli Delgado Martinez. Eleanor Dillenberg. Mohamed Drame. Lula Early. Jordan Ebbett. Nico Esch. Sarai Estrada Olivas. Natalie Flores Macias. Layla Freeman. Duan Gamble. Kachip David Ganyui. Daniel Gangenbach. Jose Luis Gonzalez Ledesma. Elisa Granados. Robert Grant. Demonte Griffin. Marguerite Grote. Arturo Guardarrama Santibáñez. Phineas Hansen. Alyssa Harris. Caden Harvey Fauzi. Aria Ho. Majua Ho. E.B. Ho. Joshua Hernandez. Jocelyn Hernandez Madrid. Darwin Herrera. 
Ashley Hewitt. Nicholas Hildahl. Matthew Hoffman. Trevor Inman. Sonam Ivianova. Shamaya Jackson. Taji Jackson. Lamin Jane. Buba Jaju. Fode Jara. Roberto Jimenez. Lila Johansson. Elizabeth Johnson. Jaylee Johnson. Travis Johnson. Bergen Youngbluth. Joshua Kedzi. Miles Kimball. Matthew Kinnis. Ramel Kingsley. Naomi Knowles. Olivia Koenig. Aminata Kohli. Ellis Kondrashev. Mia Kurtzer. Ike Levitsky. Dan Daniel Lee. Freya Lee. Caleb Linden. Layla Loeb. Oh. Alicia Learley. Monica Mack. Kyle Madden. Jair Maldonado. Chayton Manger. Ruby Marine. Pedro Luis Martinez Lopez. Brian Matthews. James Matthews. Maria Matika. Cleo Reina Maya Johnson. Grace McConley. Diana McCurdy. Michael McIntosh. Esme Miranda Nashi. Renata Monroy. Erica Monson. Maggie Najowski. Nadia Nordstrom. Cameron Osborne. Ethan Oyen. Riley Panky. Taliana Pate. Callie Holowski. Charles Pete. 
Zachary Podolsky. Rachel Ramos. David Riley. Zane Rivers. Augustus Rivoire. Isaac Roman. Juan Carlos Romero Flores. Itzayana Saucedo Vivar. Sarah Seymour. Nakari Sharp. Deja Smith. Javier Solache. Jamie Spencer. Brooklyn Stabler. Kai Svetlik. Maria Swenson. Eden Taft. Malik Tarab. Any Tall. Austin TD. Christian Tim. Arlet Klawex Toski. Omar Ture. Ruby Trudell. T. Trung. Jaden Turek. Tanner Turek. Guadalupe Valerio Aragon. Amanda Va. Dylan Va. Isabel Va. Panya Va. Arnelis Vasquez Colon. Christopher V. Aiden Wagner. Danica Washington. Gaddafi Washington. Andrea Welch. Aiden White. Diamond White. Abigail Williams. Che Wisdom. Spencer Wood. Tenzin Wozer. David Wright. Adeline Zistris. Justin Ya. Yeah. Precious Ya. Yeah. Stanley Ya. Yeah. Kekeli Yao. Menkem Young. I would ask that you please consider standing for the playing of our alma mater by our East High School staff and student band.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Cha Ming Ying, also known as Marvin. I am co-treasurer of Student Congress, a member of the boys' volleyball team, and a PIBA program and AVID scholar. The moving of the tassels simply represents one step in the process to completing our education, not the end of it. I am proud of us, making it this far in our education. We may have lost friends and other important people on our journey to this very moment, yet we still strive to achieve our goals. We have a lifetime of adventures yet to come and many dreams and goals to still be accomplished. To my mom and dad, I'm so lucky to be the last child graduating and making your American dream come true. Thank you for your support and guidance through everything from the first day of kindergarten to the last day of senior year. So please join me for moving the tassel from the right side to the left symbolizing the end of high school and the beginning of the rest of our lives. Class of 2021, we made it. <laughs> Can we please take a moment now to recognize the official graduates of the East High School Class of 2021. We also need to congratulate your families, your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your family members who are not related by, by blood. Uh, including those who could not be here this evening. This achievement belongs to anyone who helped you to get here. And to our graduates, celebrate this moment. You deserve it. And we all know that you're going to continue to make us proud in the next chapter. Thank you for making East High School the place that it is. Have a great night, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other like you always do. And East High staff and student band, go ahead and take us out.